Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So I know this is the long-awaited Righteous Fire kind of progress character. So I just want to show you guys and get you guys a little up to date with one of the many characters I'm currently playing. So this is the 85 Nono Spot Life Righteous Fire Berserker. It pretty much is a carbon copy of the other character from the previous league if you guys played Harbinger. There are some new uniques that we can use, although I haven't gotten them. They're quite expensive. There is a new jewel that you can use um, that I don't really have. It's an Abyss jewel that can give you like purity of fire. What is it? 12% of fire damage taken as physical or physical taken as fire. And there's also a vitality one. And there's a bunch of other really cool unique uh, things. But anyway, I want to go ahead and jump in and just run a quick map for you guys. And then I'll just go over some of the other stuff. One of the main things to note, though, of my current character is that we do not use the um, we do not use the belt of Deceiver anymore. Instead, I'm currently using a Stygian belt. Now, instead of using this belt with a jewel in it, you could alternatively use like the double. Uh, there's a belt with two sockets that you can put on, or I think you can Elder Craft recovery rates as well, which is also probably the best out of everything. Again, I haven't really jumped into the nitty gritty. I haven't really played this league too much. Uh, I do apologize, it's just performance issues have been really bad for me, and I just haven't really been having as much fun because of that reason. Oh yeah, and here's the helmet just to go over. We'll talk about this after. Which is supported with Efficacy, Ink AoE, Righteous Fire, and Elemental Focus. Now, I do have a weapon swap with Balefire as well, which is another weapon we'll talk about here in a little bit. Although, due to like performance issues like I was talking about earlier, I don't really feel very comfortable weapon swapping and lagging. Portals are pretty mean, dude. Ooh, a two stone. <laughs> That's a little spooky. Alright, this goat boss can probably hit pretty hard, since it does have a damage mod. So as you see, the single target is still pretty good. Okay. On Righteous Fire, that's, that's without the use of Scorching Ray. Now of course, if we just weapon swap and use Scorching Ray in our Bale Fire, I'll pretty much double our damage, if not maybe add a bit more. So, just to talk about the new helmet um, that I'm currently using, and why I'm using this over an Essence Crafted Helmet. This currently gives a level 16 burn with a level 16 conch effect. Efficacy was just recently changed so that we can now use it with Righteous Fire without the need of a duration tag. If you want to go look it up, I think it's in the 3.1 notes. It wasn't on the like full release with Abyss League, it came after. 
I'm also using Inca AoE, Righteous Fire, and Ellie Focus. Now, the only thing I would really change from this setup is if I could remove the Conk effect and Essence Craft instead. So basically, if you Essence Craft a helmet and you roll burn damage, but you don't get Conk effect, I think that's definitely worth it because Conk effect does kill your AoE a little bit. But overall, this is a crazy helm to get started with. Uh, since I personally prefer to play pure RF and not RF Scorching Ray, it's, it's really not that bad at all because I do need help with a single target. Uh, everything else on the gear is pretty similar. Um, the reason why I'm still using Pyres and an Ambu's Charge and... Everything else that's not really expensive is because I don't really have the currency for it. Um, of course, you would swap this with a Calm's Heart and Essence Crafted Rings. I don't know if I have that unique belt. Oh, this is the belt I was talking about, which has 50% increased effect of socketed jewels with one Abyssal Socket. And then again, there is the unique jewel that you can find. I don't remember exactly who it's off of, but it rolls two properties. So I highly recommend it for you to check that out as well. Anyway, though, I just wanted to give you guys a few updates with the character. Um, as you can see, everything is pretty similar. Um, yeah, I guess another big thing to talk about is people seem to really like the percent life regen while moving jewels. If you look at my character right now, I have a couple of them on my tree. Um, I didn't want to sacrifice life for them at all, but if you look, when I move, I do get quite a bit more regeneration compared to normal. Now, this is not with anything too crazy. It's just a 19 purity of fire. I don't have an empower with it. Nothing is vault for max res. So it's a pretty basic righteous fire character as of right now. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, this is not a build guide and I'm not really doing a build guide for RF. I have an entire playlist for that. So I'd recommend for you guys, if you need additional help, go ahead and check out the playlist that you can find on my YouTube channel. That's pretty much about it from me, though. Like I said, uh, if you catch me on the stream, you'll probably see me playing my uh, my Frostbolt Miner or maybe my RF or the Volatile Dead character. But uh, anyway, for now, this is what I look like IRL. I'm going to catch you guys later. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.